everyone my name is abhishek and welcome to another video on this channel so today we are going to learn how to create this liquid blob animation in after effects without using any third party plugin so before i begin if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this so without wasting any further ado let's jump into after effects and get started Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So I'm going to call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration 10 seconds. Just click on OK. So now we have our composition and our next step is to draw a path which our blob will follow. So I'm going to select the pen tool and it's completely up to you. You can draw whatever path you want. Just make sure that its fill is set to none. Just like this and you can change the stroke width to something like 75 and after that you can start creating the path you can click anywhere you want and you can just simply click and drag to get these bezier handles it's completely up to you you can draw whatever path you want so i think this looks good and i'm going to use this path so once you're happy with your path you have to select the layer then you can search for cap and from here you can change the line cap from butt to round cap so now you can see we have these really nice round edges so now our next step is to animate this so in order to do that what we are going to do is just simply add a trim path property and if we go under here you can see we have bunch of different options so we are going to use this endpoint so if i lower it down you can see that it decreases the value or the length of our blob so you can play around with this value to give a really nice length so i think 4 looks good or maybe 3.5 yeah i think this looks good now in order to animate it we are going to use this property called offset so as you can see that if i increase it you can see that it starts animating so we are going to add a keyframe in the beginning and let's move it around 2 seconds and after that i'm going to move it to the very end just like this so if i play back here you can see that we have our blob and it is following our path you can do one more thing you can select the keyframes then press f9 to easy ease them or you can just simply right click go to keyframe assistant and then easy ease and after that you can select the keyframes then go to the graph editor and if your graph looks different then make sure you are in the edit speed graph and after that we can tweak out the values just so that your graph looks something like this so now if i play back here you can see we have this kind of animation and i think it looks good so we're going to use this one so you can see that in the beginning and at the end our blob is visible so we have to add some kind of animation so that it appears from zero so for that we are going to use the stroke width so i can add a keyframe and just move it a little bit ahead and in the beginning i can set it to zero so now you can see that it starts just like this and i'm going to do the same thing so at the end i can add a keyframe and after that i can make it disappear just like this so now you can see that we have our blob and it is appearing and disappearing so now we are pretty much done with the basic animation our next step is to give it a liquid kind of flow so for that we are going to apply a bunch of effects to this so the first effect is roughen edges and just simply click and drag it onto this layer and right away you can see that it has started distorting our layer so you can play around with these properties so if i increase the border you can see that it starts create distorting our shape so i think it's too much so we are not going to increase it quite a bit and over here we have this option called scale so if i lower it down you can see that now it gives us really rough edges so for this one we are going to set this to really high so i think this looks good so now you can see that we have this really liquid kind of look to this and there are a bunch of different other options so for example we have the complexity so if you want you can increase the complexity but for this one we are going to set it to 2 and over here we have this option called evolution so you can see that as i move it you can see that it animates our blob so we want this to animate throughout the animation so for that we are going to add expression so you can just simply select the layer and hold down the alt key or option key if you are on mac then you can click on this stopwatch 
and you can just simply type this expression time times 50 and now if I play back here you can see that now our blob will keep on animating and this evolution property will keeps on changing just like this so this is how you can add some really nice rough and edges to this so the next effect is turbulent displays so you can just simply search for it and just drag it on top of it and right away you can see that now we have added more liquidness to this but it is not looking right so in order to play around with this we can change the amount so if you don't want this to affect your layer much you can just lower it down to something like this and you can play around with the scale so if i set this to something like this and increase the amount really high so now you can see that it is moving weirdly so you can just simply increase the size and decrease the amount a little bit so now if i play back here you can see that now we have this distorted liquid kind of look and it looks like that our blob is flowing through a liquid just like this so in the same way if you want you can animate the evolution just like we did with over here you can alt click and type the expression but for this one we are not going to do this also if you want you can increase the complexity just like this and you can play around with the scale you can increase it to really high so now you can see we have created some different animation you can also increase the amount so now if I play back you can see that now we have created some sort of energy kind of look let me just probably scale it down so now if I play back here you can see that now it looks like some sort of energy is flowing so this is completely up to you whatever you want to create but for this one we are going to stick with this now there is one more thing that you can do if you want to add a really nice 3d shadow to this so all you have to do is just select the layer press ctrl d to duplicate it now on the top layer you can apply an effect called simple choker so just search for it and just simply drag it onto this and we are going to apply the fill effect to the layer which is below so just search for fill effect and we can select the first layer and you can simply increase the choker a little bit so now you can see that it will make our bottom layer visible so let's set it around to 7 and after that we can select the top layer and just move it a little bit using the arrow keys just like this so now you can see we have this really nice shadow and our last step is to change its color so i'm going to change it to something like this so that it looks like we have a 3d kind of blob so now if i play back here you can see that we have created this 3d kind of blob I can set the resolution to full so that you can have a really nice preview so there you go now we have created our animation so if you want you can play around with the scale or different type of properties which I have showed over here it is completely up to you however you want to play with this so there is one more cool thing about this is let me just hide this layer as you can simply change the path and your blob will start following the new path so if I ink change my path to something like this just like this so now if i play back here you can see that now our blob is following the new path so this is how you can create this kind of liquid animation blob and you can play around with the path to change its look so i hope you learned something from this video and if you guys have any query or question you can ask in the comments below also if you want to learn more things about motion graphics and animation you can make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this also if you want you can support me on patreon and in return you will get exclusive template files and project files for the tutorials as well so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Oh